Hey man, my sponsor is running an amazing special right now. Man. You can get a million coins for less than twenty dollars, man. It's cheap, fast, and reliable. Link in the description box down below. Use code Bree and tell them Bree sent you. What's up, YouTube? We're back here with another video, man. We got the best budget cards under 100k. Basically, almost after zero chill. The crazy thing is, I don't have any other cards here. Um, after zero chill, um, anything under 100k is a budget to me. Anything after that is kind of expensive. Um, obviously, I want to put Kenyon Drake on this list because he's one of the best, one of the best budget running backs in the game. But it's gonna be a little bit long video, so I can just intro over it. Hope you, you, your mom, and your family doing okay. Please hit like 20 likes on the video, man. Subscribe. Check my description box down below. I will be working on my Let's Play channel sometime this week. Now, if you guys want me to do a budget squad series, why well, to do a 100k squad builder, and we try to do a series with that and try to go to weekend league or something with the Super Bowl, let me know. But let's get started. I got receivers for you guys. I got all 40 archetypes. You really need you need depth, but you really need three to four receivers. So I will with one, uh, which is a route runner, Keenan Allen, 90 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 89 catching, 89 catching traffic, 89 spec, 92 short, 89 medium, 86 deep, 91 release. Um, overall solid card, he's on my charges, staying team. He gets um route technician for cheaper because he is a route runner. Um, that's the only reason why I actually did go with him because of the archetype. Besides that, um, he probably ended up being your last resort because of that speed. Um, right receiver number two will be Steve Smith. He is a deep threat archetype with 91 speed, 92 excel, 90 agility. I am on catching, uh, catching traffic, 90 spec, 91 short, 89 medium, 90 deep, 89 release. This is the fully powered up um, release one. Obviously, he is under 100K. He's got really to he has a snipe at the right time. But he is 100K. He's got to be um, check the market out at times. Um, I did on Mudhead in the under 100K. They brought me this. Definitely um, a beast. I try to get you guys a receivers who almost everyone has 90 deep route running to meet the route running threshold. So that's Steve Smith. Uh, Robert Smith number three. It's gonna be the DK, and even so, when I did my other um, budget cards, he was on this list, still on it. 93, 92 speed, 90 excel, um, 79 agility, 92 jump, 85 awareness. The receiving stats is low, but he plays better than his receiving stats, trust me. Um, 84 strength, 87 catching traffic, 88 expect, 86 short, 83 medium, 86 deep, 86, 88 release. Definitely a beast. He has a physical archetype receiver, so. Um, I have a god squad and he still gives my corners issues trust me and he gets a power up too if you want to go that route and we got a plus one definitely one of the best budget receiver cards out there um another one is going to be um odell beckham jr that's uh wait uh okay okay i swear one it's odell beckham jr well he is a deep third archetype as well i think under 40k 50k 91 speed 92 excel 93 agility 92 jumping 84 catching which is low for odell 85 catching traffic 92 spec 89 short 87 meter 86 deep um it's just odell because he plays better than these stats as well just like dk metcalf don't let these stats fool you um he shits on people. He he does. He 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 definitely embarrasses people. He gets open. I do not know why. Um, but this card's a beast for under for a budget card. Definitely. Um he probably end up being my number two or my slot receiver. Um now we're on to the running backs. Same thing for running backs. I guess you guys three archetypes you need. Reggie Bush are receiving back 91 speed, 92 excel. Oh, I also did gameplay on I think I believe almost every single card, if not every card on this list. So please check it out. If you if you look curious see a little more in depth, check it out. But 91 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility. 91 COD, 90 bar carry, vision, 88 spin move, 91 juke move, 86 carry, 89 break tackle. Even if you do decide to not um, use this, like if you don't, if you want him to be your elusive back, he can't do it. He does break a lot of tackles. So um, Reggie Bush is one of my recommendations for um, receiving back. As far as elusive back, we got Raheem Mostert, 92 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 87 COD, 77 trucking, 88 ball carry, vision, 90 juke move, 89 carry, 85 break tackle. So um, definitely. One of the best budget cards out there as well. 92 speed, faster than um, Reggie. But I believe the man that deserves to be on this list. Now, obviously, he does have a Redux. It's probably about almost the exact same price, about 20 more K. Just go with the series Redux. I'm gonna actually do that as well. And you, yeah, let's do this one instead. Let's do this one because you can get them. Well, no, that's not a good example because the series Redux should be. Yeah, it's under 100K, basically the fully powered up one. 92 speed, 91 Excel, 90 Agility, 86 Trucking, I mean 86 Strength. 90 trucking, 89 COD, 85 bar carry vision, 86 stiff arm. I'm not going through the rest because this card here, he plays great. And considering he came out, he's one of the launch legends, one of the best ones in the game still. Now we're on to the quarterbacks. I'm going with Dante Culpepper. Um, obviously you want quarterbacks to get the 90 threshold, but you're not going to get that for a budget card. 85 speed, 87 excel, 93 throw power, 89 short, 87 medium, 90 deep, 90 throw on the run, 90 play action, 89 throw under pressure, 85 break sack under 100k or just at 100k for ps4 ps5 um really great card he can scramble you don't need a skate artist this year 
Um, he is a strong arm archetype as well. I'm going to go with Josh Allen. Um, the reason why I picked him because of the speed, uh, good speed, and also great throw power. 85 speed, 88 excel, 85 agility, 95 throw power, 89 short, 88 medium, 86 deep, 92 throw on the run, 87 play action, 86 throw under pressure, 90 break sack. Um, overall, another strong arm archetype. I don't think you need a skate artist. You just really need Pocky Dead Eye, um, Hot Rap Master, Gunslinger, and you'll be fine. Um, for the tight ends, I didn't, I'm skipping on line, I'm skipping full backs because it really doesn't matter with that. I'm going to go with Eric Ebron, 88 speed, 90 excel, 86 agility, 90 catching, 91 catching traffic, 91 spec, 89 short, 88 medium, 86 deep, 89 release. Um, definitely a beast. You definitely want a tight end who can at least be able to good speed, good route running, and can run block somewhat. If not, it's perfectly okay, but I was going with Eric Ebron, 88 speed. Um, another uh, tight end, Todd Heath, 86 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 90 catching. 92 catch and trap, 92 respect, anyone short, anyone meet definitely meets the right running threshold, especially if you power him up. I'm um, 92 release, definitely good after the catch. Run block is a 72, 74. Ebron's was a 69, so he does not have a power up either. I'm gonna give you guys a third tight end, but I mean, I, I don't see the need. Uh, I think Shockey is um, pretty good with 78 run blocking, 87 speed, so if you can, uh, wait, oh, okay, I did have Jeremy Shockey. Okay, I'm tripping. Yeah, the last tight end, you need three tight ends. I think Shockey might be your number one choice because he does have good run blocking, great speed. But I think Todd Heat probably should end up being your number one. Todd Heat number two and maybe Ebron number three. Like I said, even though they're all legit, either one or two speed behind each other, um, I think Jeremy Shockey because he gave me problems one game play. But um, 90 medium, 86 deep, 91 release, 94 short, definitely a beast, man. Um, now we're heading to the defensive side. Lyman. Um, same thing with Lyman. You're going to need speed. Person for me, you look at speed, you look at block, shedding, finesse, and power moves, stuff like that. Um, so for this price point, I forgot who was the other one I selected. Um, you have these other guys. I thought about Reggie White, but the problem with him is that speed. Even though the thing I see it is you can get off the block, but if your fat ass can't get to the running back or the quarterback or the receiver or the tight end, you're kind of like it's no point, of, it's no point of having you out there. Um, that's why I kind of detackles are kind of useless. That's why I, I'm going to start using uh, Leroy at detackle, but um. 84 speed, 89 excel, 87 agility, 85 strength, 88 block shedding. Um, it's pretty uh, it's, it's pretty good. 89 pursuit, 91 tackle, hit power doesn't matter this year. Um, 82 uh, power move, 93 finesse move. But uh, like I said, you can go still go with Reggie if you want to a little bit cheaper. But for me personally, uh, he, you can't get it for under 100k. Just trust me, so we're gonna undercut him. I just feel like personally, if you, you need speed, it's, you just need speed. That's how I see it. He doesn't. I look for the speed and block shedding mainly, and just then the pass rush. Because most of the time, your QB containing because everyone's so fast now. Um, right in. This is right in, right? I think, shit, regardless, it's different position at the ends. I'm going with Marcus Davenport. 86 speed, 89 excel, 78 agility, 82 strength, which is really low. What's his strength? 85 strength. Ugh. I think Reggie's strength is pretty high. So you might want to go with Reggie, but I just think the speed is going to help out a lot. But you probably can go with Reggie, to be honest with you guys. Um, 89 blocks is Robert is selecting him for here. 91 pursuit, 91 tackle, 89 play rate, 93 power move, 84 finesse move. So, um, you can it's either or, but in reality, I I, I think he's good because they're block shedding. He does get a power up as well, so he gets that 90 power uh 90 block shedding. So I think Marcus Davenport, if you're looking for a budget card, um, I don't know why Xbox is so cheap cheap, but you can't get these team standouts for under 100k. Don't let this shit fool you. You can't get these cards for under 100k, man. Um, D tackles. Um, same thing. The best speed you can possibly and block shedding. Um, um, the power move, yeah. Uh, he's my starting D tackle. Him and uh, who was my other D tackle? Fuck, I forgot already. I have Mutt in front of me. I'll look again. But um, oh, Aaron Donald. I have Aaron Donald at D tackle. So you want to just do that instead? Um, not too power, not too finesse move. Eight, six six uh, uh finesse. Not too power. I'm gonna repeat it. I think I fucked it up. 75 speed, 84 excel, 92 strength, 92 block shedding, more pursuit, 90 tackle, 90 hit power. I love this card. I just wish it looked faster. I obviously need to upgrade, but that, that speed is, is killer because I do have inside stuff. He gets off the block, he just can't get there. Um, next we're gonna be John Randall. Same thing. Speed, um, 870, 89, 72, 77 agility, 88 strength, 88 block shelly, which is low. But I might consider switching him. Obviously, we'll probably pick Glover from your uh, the the team captains. Pick pick Glover. Pick one of these guys and pick Glover. It's a free one. Um, 89 tackle, 87 power hit power. 87 finesse, 92, uh, 87 power, power move, I'm sorry, uh, 92 finesse was early in the morning. I would definitely pick, uh, John Randall. This is, uh, he does have a redux, so you probably can get the redux of under 100k, maybe. You're kind of pushing it. I don't know how much that one's gonna be. 
Um, obviously, oh wait, that's not the Redux. He doesn't have a re wait. He does have Redux. Okay, so you probably can get him for under 100k if you snipe properly, but you can get it. So um, let's go with the uh, left outside linebackers. Um, usually, you put these players at your ends when you run your nickel, diamond, quarter. That's what I do. Uh, I think the only person I, I have there is Jack and Blood. But Ricky Jackson at this price point is still the best uh, linebacker in the game. I still have him. Um, I guess we can do the series Redux. Maybe if you can get it for under 100k. Um, but I, I guess I can pair the 92 one for you guys because I don't know if, if he's going to get there. But um, I haven't seen him at 100k just yet. The other guys I've seen, but him, no. 86 speed, 89 excel, 86 agility, 90 block shedding, 90 pursuit move, um, 90 uh, tackle, 91 hit power. Uh, the power move 91 for this move is uh, 87. You don't want to put him in coverage. I run a 3-4. Personally, you should always run a 3-4. Don't ever run a 4-3. You don't want your linebackers out there in coverage. And plus, they can't even jump. So, you really want to run a nickel and stuff like that. And the other linebacker is going to be... Oh, I think this is the... Oh, I didn't actually pick this. Okay. Middle linebacker, Ryan Shass. I mean, you should have Sam Mills. You just need one other linebacker. 88 speed, 90 excel, 87 jelly, 81 block shame, which is low. Um, 91 pursuit, 88 hit uh, tackle. 86 uh, zone, 78 man. Um, besides that, I mean, like I said, you just use Sam Mills, to be honest with you guys. I would just use Sam Mills. Uh, you probably go with Junior Seau you want to, but I say Shaz. Um, the other linebacker is Lawrence Taylor. Always play better than stats. You guys know this. Um, if you should get an upgrade this weekend, um, with the 50, 88 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 87 strength, 86 jumping, 81 block shape, which is low, considering this is the LTD one, the fully powered up one. It's low, but he's still going to play uh, better than stats. 90 pursuit, 86 tackle. Um, 88 hit power, 90 uh, power move, 88 finesse. We want to go pass rush, get that uh, Kim to get that up to 90. Um, zone is pretty, I think, is it better than Ricky's? Yeah, well, about one. You don't want to have him in coverage anyway. Now we're getting to the DBs, man. You need at least, like I said, depth is key, but at least four DBs. I got Crow, maybe because I'm a Charger fan, I put him in here. Um, 91 speed, 98 so 92 agility, 92 man, 87 zone, 92 press. Um, he is six foot two, 210 pounds. Um, man to man archetype corner. Um, I love him. I got him fully powered up. Um, I did. Well, I did have him fully powered up with uh, fully maxed out uh, sprint, uh, lockdown and stuff like that. So he did pretty pretty good. Um, obviously, like I said, still outdated. Um, would he make a god squad? No, because we got better corners now. But I think for a budget, he will do the job. Um, Dion, definitely Dion. I don't know if you can get Dion um, for cheap for under 100k. No, nah, I don't think you can do that. But if you can get this, you can get this down for under 100k. You can't. I got him for under 100k. Um, definitely worth it. 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility, 91 man, 90 zone. I think this is gonna be the only quarter. Maybe I may be wrong on this list to have 90, 90 man, 90 zone without lockdown to get to or the threshold. So, um, the only issue I see with this card is that you cannot. He, he's sucking the run game. Besides that, it's, it's okay. The run game is broken anyway. My next corner I recommend is gonna be Carson Davis. 91 speed, 92 excel. Um, 88 agility. I wish they don't show COD, but 91 man, 88 zone, 92 press. He is six foot one as well. I think all these guys are almost six foot. You need you got at least have that height. If not, at least have one five ten five eleven corner. You'll be fine. I think this card is actually pretty good. Man, man, our time corner. Now we have Mr. Roel. Roel, Roel, answer a Roel. Ah, personally, I don't know because he does have 92 man. See, I was going to replace him with somebody else, but like you know what, these stats are too good. These are good. These are some good stats. Um, 92 speed, um, 90 excel, 90 agility, 91 man, 88 zone. Like I said, yeah, so he is pretty much almost the only corner. Dion should be your number one choice, but um, 87 press, 90 jumping. I wish they would show the COD on this shit. I gotta go to upgrades, but I have to go through everything. But besides that, um, great speed does get a power up as well. I think he's one of the fastest corners next to Dion. Him and Dion, um, is good. Now going to the safeties, Glover Quinn, the Mad 16 legend. One of the best, um, I think, at this position right now, you need to, I, I say I have two backups, one for your nickel, one for your dime, so you got safeties out there the whole time to play to play your linebacker positions. 91 speed, 94 excel, 93 jumping, he is 6 foot, um, 90 uh, play rec, 88 agility, 80, 87 man, 93 zone, so for a card that just came out, you can't get for under 100k, so just ignore this. Um, pretty good, I think I played him once and he picked me off, so. Um, gotta be careful around this card, hit power doesn't matter to me with the safety positions. The next one, if you want to start this card, I don't blame you. Kendall Fuller, this is a good card. 91 speed, 92 excel, 92, 92 man, 90 zone. So I do think he does get corner archetype. Does he get corner? I may be wrong. I could have swore Kendall Fuller was a corner. But regardless, man, this is a good card. This is a really good card for a budget under, what, 80K? Really great. Now for the strong safeties, I didn't want to put him. I'll go put Jamal Adams, but like, man, speed is key, especially this late in the year. Um, because, uh, even though he, he, he this Troy P does play crazy out of his mind. 
But 90 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 92 awareness, 91 jump, 92 play rate. Um, the man is low. He hits. The, uh, he already automatically hits his own coverage, but you don't want to put your safeties in man. But if you have to, he's gonna be cooked. Um, you 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 can go with Jamal because he does have better man. I think one less zone. Um, he does play great in the box. Trophy does play great in the box too. But um, I think a card you might probably probably would start over him would be this Adrian Amos. I love this card. Uh, this card's pretty good. 91 speed, 91 excel, 85 agility. Um, damn near. Like, I will say better than troy p i think he should be your starter because you look at 91 speed 91 excel you look at he has better man and legit the exact same zone if you want to go man coverage obviously the hit powers is uh i think lower than his yeah um the press you want to press anyway but i think so i think the way the trace is with troy p he plays great but that's the list of video has gone for 15 minutes i'm out thank you guys for all the support peace